So it's 11. It's 11. <laughs> it's a. It's November 13th. I was about to say it's 11:13. No, it's not. It's 9:13 p.m. So I'm starting this early because a certain someone on screen wanted me to start early. And I just now, f <laughs> I forgot to hit record. So there we go, now it's recording. You guys missed nothing but a minute and 25 of damn near silence. All I said was it's November 13th. So once again, if Twitch erases this footage, now I'm recording. So, let's see how long we go for tonight. <clears throat> I am once again doing Reggie Drago. I will do this until I get it. I will not stop until I get it. Question is, how long will I do this for until I get tired of it? Tired of only doing it live, and I say, screw it, I'll do it on my own time, too. If I do a hundred of these streams and I still don't get it, that's going to be very depressing. And I bet the reset method, like what I'm doing right now, closing and opening the game, isn't helping. I've tried the reset method, but then I gave up and went back to the floor pattern method, and I got it almost right away. Well, not almost. I got it relatively close to starting again with the floor pattern. And that was Reggie Alecki. I, that took me 10 days to get. For 9 days, I resetted the game. And then I said, this isn't working. This is, screw it, this clearly isn't working. So let me go back to the floor pattern. Let me double check the audio. I probably should not have slammed my controller on the table like that. And that was Reggie Alecki, I, that took... It sounded like I said, ready Alecki, not Reggie. Reggie fils -Ame? Reggie Files Anime? So, let me try something. Now, this is going to be extremely experimental right now, what I'm about to try. Um, I really hope it doesn't break anything, because there is a lot of things running on my poor little laptop. Okay, I'll start, I'll try it after this encounter. All right, let me let me try something. Oh jeez. Oh shit, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, I don't know. How does that actually? How does this actually translate to the stream? I need to check. Let me try something. <laughs> I don't know, can you guys hear that or not? I need to take off my headset so I can hear. Okay, I just took my headset off to take a listen. Alright, let me stop it real- let me stop it for just a second. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I 
I don't think anyone heard that. I did put it kind of low. No, no, that doesn't work. Oh, wow, no one, no one to give me feedback on that. Okay. I mean, I don't think anyone even noticed what I tried there. <clears throat> so what I just tried to do there was I tried to have some sort of background music because, you know, all all you guys get is the game audio, the exact same one over and over. And when there's no game audio, there's nothing. So I'm trying to see if I could put some sort of music in. See, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on though. Well, not well, well how to work it. Because what I just did there was, I can't even see that, the screen is dark. How does it feel to have one sub? It feels no different. So what I, what I do for now to put music in the background is it literally plays out the speaker of my computer, of my laptop, so I can't play it too loud. Otherwise the mic picking up my voice will pick it up and you'll hear it, hear it twice. Unless it knows not to do that. Like, if I blast the music, it won't pick it up on my mic, which I doubt would be the case. Like, I, I, I don't know how to make it come out of my headset and you guys to be able to hear it too. I don't know this stuff, okay? Oh crap, did I forget to get up the, up the counter again? Oh well, if I did, we're at 210 now. <coughs> I know I played music in the background who knows how long ago, but I'll be honest, I don't remember how I did that. So what's everyone up to? I know, I know you watching, you're studying. I don't know, I don't have too much to talk about. Uh, today's a Saturday night, right? Yeah, it's Saturday, so I don't really have much to do. I don't have any shows on tonight. I have shows on Sunday nights, that's Walking Dead night. I got the... Founder badge worth the sub. Mm. 
Bruh, what I'm looking I'm looking at Twitter right now and there is a a barrage of Waddle D's. And in this collage of Waddle D's are a few hidden cameos. Like there's a King DDD, there's two different Kirby's, there's one Waddle D wearing a Meta Knight mask. There's Bandana Waddle D, there's a there's Waddle Do. There's a Waddle D holding a parasol. There's so many Waddle D's here. There's a sleeping Waddle D. You guys have no idea what I'm what I'm talking about because you can't see the picture I'm currently looking at. I can't believe I'm hunting something where the Essentially, only the arms are different. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get one of the homies to join the stream. Because he, he just got a shiny Zapdos. Um, 50 minutes ago? So you know, congrats to him. He caught it he caught it in an ultra ball. Yo, I'm looking on some. I'm looking at something, and why does this look fire, though? I'm, I'm seeing. I'm seeing Pokemon marbles. Yo, why? Why I want those? I can't even see what you're. What you said. It's too dark. Oh, you just said okay. Terry wins. Okay. Yo, since you're here, give me some feedback. What do you what do you think of this? I'm still trying to work this out. Here. Here I go again. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. You think I can... I, cu I couldn't see all that. It's too dark. The screen is too dark. You think I can get this pink bird while you do Drago? You mean that bitch Moltres? I'd be pissed if you did. Can you hear this? Alright, let me... <laughs> let me try something. I know you can hear the game audio too, and that that's kind of that kind of fucks it up. I don't know how to I don't know how to adjust all this. I'm still trying to work this out. Legend of Zelda? Hell no, this is Persona. Anyways, let me try some. Let me blast this music. See how loud it gets. Maybe that's not. Maybe that's too loud. Can't hear game audio. Let me check. That's actually not that bad, because there's nothing going on in the game audio. Legend of Zelda, hell no, this is Persona. Anyways, let me, let me try some. Let me blast. <laughs> maybe that's not, maybe that's too bad. Okay. So me adjusting it there, definitely... Definitely, um, adjust the, the audio that you, the, Not audio. The volume you guys could hear. Yeah, after you put the Persona music, couldn't put, put the, what? Really? Can you guys hear this game audio? Right now, right now. This, this music, can you, can you hear that? I know you guys can hear. 
the other side too, because I still have it. I still have it playing on my end, so I can double check the audio. Really? Let me check. Really? Can you guys hear this game audio? Right now, right now. This. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys, you guys can hear it. I checked. You guys can hear it. All right, let me turn this down. There, now you guys should be able to... Alright, let me truly double check. I checked, you guys can hear it. Alright, let me turn this down. Faintly, it doesn't matter anyways, there's no, there's nothing going on in the game. So it doesn't even matter if you hear the game audio or not. So how, how is the audio? What is the shift? The shift? What's it like? Like, is it too much game audio? Not game audio. Is it too much music? Too little music? Like, how is the balance? How is the how is the universal scale? It's fine. Does the game audio need to be higher or not game audio? Does the music need to be higher or lower? I think it's the wrong music choice. I'm only testing it out for now. I can put other songs on. But for now, I'm just testing it out. Because, you know, it's still something I'm trying to dip my toes into. Testing out the waters. Doesn't go with this. Look! Okay, I'm testing it! Forget what the song is. How is how is the the volume? Matter of fact, I could just check myself. Screw you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. Indeed, I am testing it. Forget what the song is. How is? Okay, that. Uh, okay. You, you guys also have to keep in mind, I can't play anything that'll give me a copyright claim. This song should be safe. If it isn't, then oh, too bad. But it should be safe because I played this all the time when I was playing Persona. When I streamed Persona, I should say. So this song should be safe. I mean, hey, I thought Life Will Change was safe once, but guess not. Eventually, that also became copy claimable. Play Pokemon music with it? Uh, what the, what was that? Wavering Emotions. Let's play that, because that totally fits with the tone. <clears throat> My eye is itching again. Oh boy, here comes the influx of song requests. What am I, a DJ? Hey, feel free to tip the DJ, I'm joking. You know how sometimes people would do that? Be like, here, here DJ, here's 200 bucks. Can you play this song? I have a song request. So, Dra Drago has blue dragon shoulders. Kinda. Kind of a bluish gray. It would have been cool if I got it just now. 
you know, I'm describing the shiny, it's like, the arms change from black to a, a sort of gray, just like that! And it shows up on screen, that would've been cool. Yo, man, I'm testing out how to play music again. It's been, what, over a year since I last did this? Show the shiny real quick? I don't know how to. I don't know how to put images on screen. The homie above you, he actually helped me out with even putting the number on screen. Now, I don't remember if this was the same thing that happened over a year ago when I last put music on. Just get the shiny and show it right now, if only. Careful, you won't get copyrighted. Again, this song should be safe, because you remember how much I played this song back when I played Persona. But I don't know, maybe times have changed. This song really is claimed. Am I using the double monitor? No, I am not. <clears throat> I'm not gonna whip out a second monitor just to do this. I could have, but I didn't want to. Maybe another time. What's your favorite persona? I, I assume you mean game. At the moment, I've only played Persona 5 and Royal. I have yet to play Persona 4 Golden. I know you guys keep bugging me about that. Exactly, right when I said it, exactly. I will. I swear, I will. It's still something on my to-do list. You got the wrong Persona character card. What? Oh. I- Pfft. How did I read- I'm just gonna- We're just gonna ignore that. Just gonna ignore that. I did? Oh crap, did I forget to update the number? My eye is irritated right now, it's itching, so I just gotta I just gotta close one of my eyes for now. Just gotta leave one eye shut for a little bit. Whenever this happens, whenever my eye gets irritated, I just leave I just leave the eye closed for a little while. You should never rub your eye when it's itching, because I didn't- I learned that the hard way. I did that whenever it was irritated, I itched it, but I rubbed it to, to, to itch it, and turns out you do that, you damage your eye, you, di you damage part of your cornea or whatever. It takes a couple weeks to heal, but if you keep on doing it, then the damage is permanent. I didn't know that at the time. So who knows how much damage I did to my own eye. Actually, I think I forgot to update the number. So if your eye is itching, you should grab, you know, eye drops or some sort of solution, some prescribed solution, and you should rinse out your eye. You should never scratch it or rub it to scratch it. I wish I knew that. Well, now I know. Yeah, it's usually increase of blood pressure that causes the itch. I have told you I got super... Have I told... Have I told you I got super glue in my eye once? No, you did not. Did I tell you I almost stabbed my own eye with a, a letter opener? I was just playing around with a letter opener. Like, I, I was on the floor cross-legged, I don't remember why. I was on the floor just playing around with it. This wasn't, I wasn't even that young of a kid anyways, I was in my teenage years. I was just sitting on the floor playing around with it, I dropped it, it bounced, ricocheted back up. The sharp end hit right, the, right beside my eye. So had it been like a couple... 
a couple centimeters, a couple millimeters closer, it would have hit my actual eye. I think it was it was sharp enough to the point where it hit my face again. I did get a cut there. So had it been a couple couple inches, not even an inch, a couple of centimeters, little bit further, it would have cut my eye. I got really lucky it didn't hit my eye. It hit right beside it where I got the cut. Did I forget to update the number again? I have I have it up on my screen, so if I see I didn't update it, then I will. How <laughs> didn't go to the a hospital or anything? This is why, if I ever have kids, I'm afraid. <laughs> you know, because I know how reckless I was when I was young. I don't want my kid to make the same mistakes. You know, if I have kids, I would have to monitor them monitor them all the time just to make sure they don't, they're not off doing something stupid like I did. Because when I was younger, I did a lot of stupid stuff that honestly could have gotten me killed. And my family have no idea I did that. So I don't... If I ever have kids, I'm afraid that they'll make the same mistakes I did. And, you know, God forbid, the mistakes that they did, which are the same as same things that I did, actually gets them hurt or killed. You know, that one's on me. So if I have kids of my own, I'm monitoring their little asses all the time. Because, oh my god, it's a miracle I'm still alive. I did so much stupid stuff that, honestly, very honestly, I could have died so many times. I could have honestly gotten someone else killed. I could have gotten arrested. Like, I've done a lot of stuff that were pretty bad. So, if I have kids, I am monitoring them 24-7. Making sure little, little Junior over here doesn't make the same mistakes Dad did. No, not no simp November. What the hell? I, I saw I saw that. I see that older comment. You were dumb as a rock as a kid. I'm still dumb as a rock. If you find some friends who want to join my BDSP server, let me know. Excuse me. I have. I may have one. But I'll, I'll hit you up with that stuff later. I feel like I definitely forgot to update the number. Oh well, we're at th I almost said 329. We're at 239 now. You need some mods? Not me. Don't don't look at me. I, I don't want that power. Uh, I'm too lazy to take care of anything. No 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 nut. Uh, why am I having such a hard time reading this? God damn it! No, not November is a lie. I'm going to keep my chances for prostate cancer as low as possible. What? Man, you mod me. I'm going to accidentally ban someone just because I misread what they said. Don't don't you dare mod me. I, I'm flat out just giving you a warning. It's a mistake to give me that power. No Nut November is a lie, you say. Does that imply you lost? What? So, what, what, what you're telling me is you're staying healthy. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Cannot confirm nor deny. You, you basically just confirmed I should not shake your hand the next time I see you.
So how many shows do you have on your list? Several. Let me see, tomorrow I got Fear the Walking Dead and Walking Dead World Beyond, because it's Sunday night. Tuesday I have... Actually, Tuesday is the Flash Season 8 premiere. It's actually doing the Armageddon crossover event. The five episode event, so I'm watching that. And then... And then I got Wednesday. And for now, that's it. Okay, if several, not too bad. Make sure you add you to the list. Imagine going to the washroom and not washing your hands. I've already explained all that, so I'm not going to go into it again. <clears throat> Mother fine, you, you really going to make me explain it all again? Fine. <laughs> Buckle up. Several, does that include anime? Indeed it does. I'm not going to list off those animes anyway. Alright, fine. You really want me to explain? Alright, so... So, peep this, okay? Hear me out. When I'm at home... I sit down to pee. So when I sit down to pee, I, you know... Alright, fellas, men... You know that standing up can cause a mess. Sometimes. I'm, I don't sit down... I don't sit down in public, because that's nasty. Unless I, you know, I desperately have to go number two, I don't sit down in public. In public, you know, we use our hands. <laughs> we... <laughs> we hold and we aim. So we wash our hands after. Lag? Alright, if it's lagging, let me turn off the music for a little bit. But at home, you know, I sit down. I take my piss. Look, man, you, we all, we all, we're all guys here. We know sometimes we can cause a mess. So that's why I don't like standing up. At home. I don't want to make a mess and have to clean up. Okay, I'd rather sit my ass down, make sure it all goes in, prevent any chance of making a mess, and just flush. And because I sit down, I don't need to touch anything except the flush handle. Quality content? You started this. You, you started this. Okay, had you not brought that up, you would not make you would not need me to explain all of this. You know, and if I had not explained this, then everyone would get the idea like he doesn't wash his hands. He's disgusting. He's the one you should never shake hands with. The flush handle is very dirty cuz other people use it. Use a napkin. I have my own bathroom. I have my own bathroom, my sister has her own, my parents share one. If I don't, I don't, I don't quote unquote wash, like I don't use soap and I don't and scrub, I lightly rinse. That's not the same. Oh crap, did I forget to update it again? You are objectively wrong, then. <laughs> Who, me? Probably me. Me, right? I'm wrong? Probably. More than likely. Yes, 100%. It's me. I'm wrong. Why no soap rinse? Uh, Let's move on. I don't want to. I don't want to defend or talk any further about 
the way I use the bathroom. Let's let's move on. I'm still alive, aren't I? I didn't die of any diseases yet. Bone-in chicken or boneless chicken. Depends. Depends on the dish. You know, fried chicken works either way. You can have a drumstick. You can have a... Um, you can have a thigh. Those have bones. Or you can have boneless. You can have like a... a, a Bite-sized chicken... Nu popcorn chicken. That's it. I almost said chicken nuggets. But, uh, you know, depends on the dish. Which tastes better? Excuse me. Um, once again, depends on the dish. Normally, doesn't a thigh have more flavor than, say, a chicken breast? I don't know, man. Let's talk about Hot Wheels McDonald's toys that you bought and plan to buy. Alright, so you agree that Bone In tastes better. I cannot confirm nor deny. How was Eternals, by the way? It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. You should definitely... It's definitely a film that you should check out for yourself and not let the critics dictate if you're gonna... If you think you're gonna enjoy it or not. Like, you shouldn't listen to the critics' reviews and be like... They sound... They make it sound like this film is horrible. I'm not gonna go watch it. You should definitely give it a shot, if you're interested. Watch it and make your own judgment. For me, I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was not the first MCU film that I considered garbage. There's only one film that I think that way, and it is Black Widow, because that film to me was not that great in the slightest. How was Squid Games? With an S? Uh, don't don't you remember? I spoiled that for myself by accident. He wanted to go watch it with your friend, and he changed his mind when it came out because of the mixed reviews. Man, screw it! Screw your friend! Watch it yourself. I would have gone to the theater myself. I would I would be more than down to just go see a film by myself. I actually watched it with my sister because there's only two reasons. That she wanted to watch the film. One, she thinks Angelina Jolie's hot. And two, she was curious when the BTS song would play. Because my sister is a big BTS fan. So I went with my sister. You watch Spider-Man with him? Hell yeah. I'm I might go see there's a BTS song in Eternals. There was it, it was very subtle. It was You know how sometimes films would play a pop song in the background of a scene? Well this time it was a BTS one. Like BTS were literally credited in the credits. Not only that, there was a BTS name drop as well. So yeah, uh, I may go watch Spider-Man with the homie who was in the chat. You know, the shaman guy. You know, I may go watch Spider-Man with him. You know, every time I go to the theater to watch a film, I always get a massive pounding headache after the film. But this time, when I go see Spider-Man, that's going to be the most, that's going to be the best headache I ever get. It's going to be the headache that's most worth it in my whole life. Well, I can't say this. I can't say for certain yet because that was the case for Infinity War and Endgame. Because he's going on a cruise in Florida. Man, forget your friend. Watch it yourself. 
if Sp when Spider-Man comes out and no one wants to come with me, forget it. I'm going by myself. I mean, hey, isn't it safer that way? Less groups, less crowds, whatever. So it's a win-win. I see the film, either with friends for a good time, or without friends, a smaller crowd. Buy a plane ticket, fly over here, we'll hang out. <laughs> um... So aside from Eternals, which I saw five days ago, today's the 13th. I think I saw it on the 8th. Yeah, I did. I saw it on the 8th. I saw it three days after it came out. So I saw it on the 8th, and yesterday, yeah, yesterday? Hell no, I would not. Anyways, um... So yesterday, on the 12th, November the 12th, was Disney Plus Day. And yesterday, I also finally watched Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I know I'm like two months late to watching that film, but, you know, I didn't have time to go see it in theaters when it came out. And, you know, a week passed, two weeks passed, a month passed, and I'm like, bruh, it's coming out on Disney Plus soon anyway, so I'll just wait for it to come out then. So I finally watched it yesterday. Gotta say, pretty good film, I enjoyed that too. I can definitely see what people were complaining about. Like, it, it's branded as like a martial arts film, sort of. Like, the first half was martial arts and martial arts. Martial arts and stunts heavy f sequence, like the first half. Then the second half was just a big CGI mess. Like, it's insane how much CGI was in the final half. Or final third. I felt like your sister should have watched that instead. She has almost no interest in watching Shang-Chi. I say almost because there is one one actress that my whole family knows that's in the film. One of the, the Hong Kong TVB actresses. And that's the shows that my family watches. They watch their Chinese shit. So I think that's the only reason she would watch it is that there's one Chinese actress that she knows. Bro, does your sister have no taste? Shake my head. <laughs> you you want me to break it down? You you want to know how hard it is to watch anything with my family? There's a reason why I don't watch jack shit with my family. My dad, he does not like watching anything animated, anything cartoon, anything. He only likes watching live action. My mom She's not great with English, so Chinese preferred. Chinese subtitles would be helpful if we're watching something English. My sister, she hates horror and comedy. And then you got me. Someone who mostly, well, only watches English shows because I don't understand none, nothing Chinese. So you tell me, what, what, what fits all of our criteria. What's something that we can all watch as a family and enjoy as a whole? No comedy, no animated, Chinese, and the and one person who doesn't understand anything Chinese, who speaks mostly English. You, you tell me. What's wrong with comedy? She doesn't find anything funny. She, like, watch live action One Piece in Chinese? I spat so much just now. Have I been forgetting to update the number? I've kind of just been mindlessly doing this. <clears throat> so anyways, there's a reason why your sister has her emotions removed or had. Watch Kung Fu. Kung Fu what? Anyways, so there's a reason, like, 
when Shang-Chi came out yesterday, clear, none of my family have watched it yet. Um, so I was debating, do I wait until tonight or yesterday night and watch it with my whole family? Because, thank God for subtitles, because there was so much Mandarin in that show. Thank God for subtitles, because I would not have understood a word of any of the Mandarin. I have, I have better, like, my odds of finding a shiny Pokemon are better than my odds of understanding a Mandarin word. Let's put it that way. So I was debating, because my, okay, this, uh, this film is sort of like a wet dream for my family. It has Mandarin, which my family understands. It has Asian actors, which, you know, my family would dig. Martial arts, which my dad is big into. An actress that my family recognizes. And, uh, you know, it's Marvel, so it's of course I'm going to like it. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. Of course I would watch it. I didn't like Black Widow. So actually, to kind of answer my... To answer my own question, like, what's a film we can all watch? There we go. <laughs> It'd probably be Shang-Chi. <clears throat> But there's a reason I decided not to watch with them. Because not only is it hard to find something we can all watch, it, there's also the issue with my family talks over basically a lot of the film. You know, my mom would question what's going on in the film, and my sister would talk over the film, explaining to her what's happening. So, you know, they talk, I don't hear anything, I say something like, well, great, I didn't hear anything they said. And then they get mad at me. So it's like, yeah, I decided not to watch with them. I decided to just watch it on my own. What do you mean, Aquafina? What about her? So, <laughs> I don't want to spoil the film. Just watch again with them? Now, let me explain why else I didn't watch it with them. Especially with my dad. You already know what happens. Okay. So, there is there's one line in the film. I'm not going to say what the line is. But I'll say my version of the line, how it applies to me. Because had I watched this film with my dad, this whole film would have just been a reminder. Like, <laughs> this is this is the film. Wait. This film shows my dad. This is the boy he wishes came out of his dick. I'll just say that. There's a line that parallels that in the film. So go ahead and watch the film. The moment you hear that line, you'll understand what I'm saying. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Yep, I see the reactions. I see them. Now let me explain. So, when I was a kid, when I was younger, my dad did put me through martial arts. But it wasn't my thing. It just wasn't for me. I wasn't into it. I didn't like it at all. So I quit that shit. And I can tell. He regrets just not pushing me to keep going with it. You know, I can tell he looks at me like that. I can tell that the way he looks at me sometimes, it's like, maybe I should have ma just made him commit to this. You know, my son told me he doesn't like this. I should have said... I'm sorry, son, but this is for your own good. You have to keep doing it. Disappointed dad. <laughs> Disappointment of a son, more like. So my dad, his, his idea for me was he wanted a martial artist <laughs> for a son because he was so big into martial arts. He still is. Not only that, he wanted a smart son, too. But instead, instead of a, a tall, buff scholar of a son, he got me, the fat, lazy, idiotic turd that he got instead. Fat chance I'll get any sort of recognition here on Twitch. <clears throat> so 
So that's why I say, like, my dad wanted me to be a martial artist, and that's clearly not how it turned out. Maybe, maybe there was a Nexus event somewhere where it branched off and I did become a martial artist. But this is not, we are not in the sacred timeline. We are in a branch that clearly didn't go right. So, if I, had I watched this film with him, this film is just a reminder of the son he wishes came out of his dick. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm not going to say it again. But the reason I, 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 I word it that way is because there is a line in the film that is just like that. And I'm not going to say who said it or where it is. Go watch the film for yourself. I, I can't believe they actually allowed that line to be in the film, too. <clears throat> Am I a disappointment to my family? Absolutely. No, d no doubt. Am I a disappointment to society? More than likely. Probably. I mean, I don't contribute anything to society, and if anything, I'm an enormous waste of space. I wonder if my sister's home, because she went out for dinner. Yep, she's home. At least you're honest. That means you ain't a disappointment to God or anything. Oh no. No 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 no. No, sir. I am I am positive God made a mistake when designing me. Man, you you more than anyone should know God does not like me. <clears throat> Man, both God and I no, I ain't going to heaven when I die. Hell nah. You you heard me mention earlier. As a kid, I did so much, so much fuck shit. I could have got myself killed. I could have got, got other people killed. I am not going to heaven when I die. Hell no. Not a chance. The moment I die, I will descend so fast. I'll be in purgatory. <clears throat> Both heaven and hell be like, you take him. No, we don't want him. You take him. And that'll go on for, for eons until eventually they're like, fine, we'll take him. And I'll be down in hell. So anyways, back to Marvel. So I have now watched 100% of the MCU. I have seen everything. For now, at least. Because the only thing, the one and only thing I have not seen yet is Venom Let There Be Carnage. And I hear the post credit scene somehow connects it. Which I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. So if it is connected, then that's the only thing I haven't seen yet. But right now, saying that it isn't, because I haven't seen it yet, I've seen everything in the main MCU. I've seen every show, wait, I've seen every film, every Disney Plus series, every show on the Marvel, not Marvel Studios, Marvel Entertainment side. You know, I've seen all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., all the uh, Netflix shows. I've seen all the other shows too, like Runaways, Cloak and Dagger, Hellstrom, even in Humans. I've seen everything. Everything in the in the MCU I have seen. You know, that is until I see Venom Let There Be Carnage. Once again, I didn't have time to see that in the theater. And unfortunately, since that's not coming to Disney+, Plus, 
I just gotta wait until the like the Blu-ray comes out. Whoops. <clears throat> uh, let me just pour some water real quick. Yo, yo, everyone listening. Stay hydrated. Make sure to drink water. Be sure to drink plenty of water. I don't want to have to go to the doctor again because I didn't drink enough. And I don't mean like a kidney stone, I never had one of those. You know, other health concerns, other health issues of mine, because I don't drink enough water. And it's not even, it's not even one time too, I've, I've had this my whole life. Where I don't drink enough water. Are you playing Valorant two days in a row? You know what I should say? You actually showed up two days in a row. That's even more rare than me streaming two days in a row. Maybe that sounds like a yes to me. You know what I haven't seen yet, which I may put on to watch tonight? I have not seen the Doom Patrol Season th season 3 finale yet. I spat everywhere again. I s <laughs> Oh my goodness, I spat so much. Uh, That episode came out on Thursday, and today is Saturday. So I still have the season 3 finale of Doom Patrol to watch. I may watch that later tonight. Valorant is fun when you're good at it. When you're someone like me, you know, someone like me who sucks, and all, all I receive is a bunch of roasts, for being awful at the game, it's not as fun anymore. You know, I, I whenever we're playing Valorant, I get yelled at Gordon Ramsay style like, You donkey! You suck at this game! What are you doing? I, I have to keep reminding the guys when we're playing Valorant, like, don't forget, you invited me to play. Which is probably why I haven't played in, what, two months? <laughs> they, they realize, you're, he's right. We do keep asking him to play with us, and he is absolute dog shit. So let's not invite him to play anymore. But yeah, I haven't been invited to play in a, in a hot minute. I think the guys finally realize, like, he's not wrong. We do keep asking him to play, and we keep losing because of him. Let's no longer ask him to play with us. Wanna play next week? See, had I not mentioned all this, you wouldn't even say that. I don't know, man. It's like, do I really want to play Valorant again? Like I said, I am god-awful. Now, I already know someone's going to mention this. Someone's going to... So, someone's going to bring this up. Someone's going to mention this. People always tell me, like, you always complain. No one invites you. And then, you know, people are going to mention. You were invited, but you just... But you denied. Oops. Wrong timing.
I need to blow my nose, honestly. But I'll do that after. <clears throat> no, I did not. I did not get top frag. I don't even know what that means. <sighs> so brilliant diamond shining pearl comes out in six days I don't know what I'm gonna do with that game He is secretly a radiant player, and all I do is twirl my mustache maniacally and sabotage whenever I play with you guys. Hiding my secret skills. You know, just ruining everything wherever I go, like the super villain I was born to be. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Why did I even do Thursday night? Um... I'm trying to think, what did I even do Thursday night? I think I just, I took a nap that night. Because I had a headache. So I didn't play anything. I took a nap that night. Because yesterday was Friday. I did Breath of the Wild. Which I was supposed to do Thursday night. But I didn't. Because I took a nap due to the headache. Built different? Hell yeah, I got some pretty messed up genetics. <laughs> Yeah, I'm built different. I was born to be a super villain in this world. And I'm not kidding about my weird genetics. I still have baby teeth. Bruh, my genetics are so off. I still have baby teeth. Because for some reason, I just never got adult teeth growing in those spots. <clears throat> You guys remember a few months ago I got a cavity fixed? The dentist looked at looked at my mouth. Like he saw the x-ray for the cavity. He looked in my mouth. Looked at the, the other person in the room. The person with the tube to, to suck up all the spit. All the moisture. He looked at the x-ray. Looked at... Yeah, he looked at the x-ray. Looked at my mouth. Looked over to her and he's like, Is that a baby tooth? Looked at the x-ray again, it's like, yeah, that looks like a baby tooth. No wonder you got a cavity on that tooth, it's still a freaking baby tooth. So, the lady told me that it's extremely rare genetics, that you can't still have baby teeth, because adult teeth just never came in. So I'm like, have you ever seen this before? They're like, no, never. Though, they could have lied to me, but... I'm gonna take their word for it. So yeah, that's how weird my genetics are. I still have two baby teeth.
I I hundred percent doubt that. I do not believe you. I I do not believe you there. I do not believe all your teeth, except for your quote crooked ones, are baby teeth. I do not believe you there. There is no way majority of your teeth are still baby teeth. I still have two. It must be unpleasant hearing me sniffle all the time. That's because I gotta I gotta blow my nose, but I don't wanna get up and leave. You know, my genetics are, are weird too, in, in that aspect too. I got weird genetics all around. I got I got weird genetics in my mouth with my teeth. I got weird genetics on my hand because my pinky is bent. That comes on my mom's side. My feet are very misshapen. Like, I have insanely, very scary misshapen feet. Which I don't know how many people have seen or even noticed. Don't expect me to ever reveal a picture of my feet. I'm not trying to get on WikiFeet. Because that's an actual website. Of course it is. If you want to see celebrities' feet, go on WikiFeet. Because that's, of course that's a website. It's not exactly health issues, it's just... I don't know what other word to use, but it's not exactly just health issues. But yeah, that's a good question. How did we get from Valorant to this topic? I have some, I have so, I have some, me <laughs> why you know that and how you found that. Unus Honest, you know, they did a, they did a video on wiki feet. Which you can't find anymore because that, uh, that channel is deleted. Excuse me, I'm cracking my knuckles. And besides, it's the internet. Does it really surprise you the internet has a website called Wikifeet? Uh, uh, let me see. What am I gonna do later tonight? Maybe I'll watch the Doom Patrol finale. What else? You know what I still need to do, which I've been putting off? I need to go into my Ultra Moon copy, release all 620 of the Fionns I've hatched trying to get a shiny. I'm not going to do it in Pokemon Bank, which will make it be a lot easier because I need to repay for that subscription. But I'm waiting for New Year's to do that because, you know, it's a yearly subscription. I'm trying to refresh my subscription on New Year's. So I got to manually go in the game and release one thing at a time 620 times. And believe me, I've genuinely ran out of space. Like, all 30 of my boxes and my party of 6 are all filled out. I have no more space left. So I need to release all of them. And then I can get more eggs to start hatching. And and, and you can bet. When I get the shiny Fion in Ultra Moon, I'm going to re-hunt it in Brilliant Diamond. 
you know, the forgotten mythical. I never hunted it because I flat out forgot it even exists. Like hell, I'm going to shiny hunt a Manaphy. Hell no, nah, I don't have that much dedication. But a shiny Fionn, that's doable. I genuinely forgot Fionn even exists. I mean, hey, you have 900 designs, 900 creatures, you're bound to forget one or two. When I played Sun and Moon, I genuinely forgot Bruxish was even a thing, because I never saw one playing through the game. I think it only shows up if you do the SOS method for something. If I put the Pokemon Shinies on Mazenta Code in chat, will you try to claim it? I can't, because I'm doing this. Didn't I already claim it in this game? Wait a second, let me check. I don't remember if I even claimed it in this game yet, or was that my other one? Like my sword copy on my other Switch. No, I didn't. Not in this game. Yeah, not in this one. So, what you guys up to? Just finished eating? Alright, cool. I was going to do this... Actually, about half an hour ago. Like, I was going to start this, like, half an hour ago. But a certain someone here wanted me to start early tonight. So had I not done that, and I did this when I usually do, that's around 10 p.m. my time, I would have started about 27 and change minutes ago. But instead, I've been doing this for an hour and 14.33. You know, I, I was going to take a short nap, like a half hour nap, get, so, get a little bit of rest before doing this, but no, no. Wanted me to start early, so guess not. I, you, I swear to God, you better be joking. If you genuinely do that, I'm not going to try for it. Just because I said that, you are definitely going to put it in now. You're going to be like, oh, he's not doing it? Great, let me put it in just to taunt him that he's not going to get it. Because he said he won't do it. You actually did it. Fine, let's see if I can actually make 
<laughs> if I can actually get this. You dick. You absolute jackass. I don't think I got it in this game yet. Alright, cool, thanks! Wait, what? Did I actually get it in this game? I don't remember. Maybe I did and I transferred it to my other game. I can't even remember now. Well, it said I got it. I, well, it says I already got it, so if anyone out there wants that code, there you go. Did I actually f already get the code and I don't even remember it? I might have. So if you want the code, there you go. Go crazy. Yo, yo, my boy, Plasma Lucario. If you want that code, there it is for you. Because I guess I already got it in this game. Add to my title giveaway? Hell no, nah. it wasn't even my idea. Did I just mess up the counter? Crap. Are we supposed to be at 311 or 312? I don't even remember now. Too bad we're at 311 then. I feel like it might be I might be at 312, but oh well. 311 it is. It's only it's only 10:32 p.m. Uh, uh, uh. So I got a couple things to do at work tomorrow. I got I got a spreadsheet to type out. In fact, I got three of them to type out tomorrow. I can't believe you actually put the code on in the chat, you dick. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this for. Maybe I'll reach 350 and then call it a night. You agree? What, with 350? Because you're going to bed soon? Because you got work tomorrow? So you want to sleep? <laughs> I don't even know if you have work tomorrow.
Wait, what you what you say I agree with? What did what did you agree with? He doesn't even have the game. So I kind of just scrapped the music idea, didn't I? Eh, I'll bring that back next time. Next time I next time we do this, I'll put more music on. <clears throat> do I have any more water in my cup? Yes, I do. You know, there's uh, there's something super intriguing to me about shiny hunting. The idea of doing it until you get it. You know, it's not always guaranteed you'll get it. And sometimes, it's so unguaranteed, it'll take extremely longer than usual. Like, several times over odds. But you'll still do it until you get it. Because, you know, the game can't not give you that one in something odds forever. Eventually, it'll, it will give you that odd, that one out of something. Eventually, you do it enough, it will give you that. It's just the idea of doing it until that happens is some, somewhat intriguing to me. You know, kind of like me, I won't stop until I get this. Until the game gives me that one in 4,096 odds. <clears throat> I mean, it'd, it'd be pretty dope if I got it relatively soon, but I don't count on that. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I may just play more Age of Calamity after I'm done this, because I've been playing that game all day, just trying to grind up for some items. Yo, my boy, are you are you still studying for your for your exam tomorrow? Are you actually doing that? <clears throat> yes, good. You feel like you're ready? You feel prepared? Hundred and five minutes, three questions. What? So an hour and forty five minutes, if I got my math right, for three questions. I realize on paper that must sound very simple, but but I know I know better. Like in university, three questions could mean right. 
write ten paragraphs explaining this. Show all your work. Like, show every single step. If one step is not shown, you fail. Like, I know better. You know, I'm not going to say three questions in an hour and 45. That's easy. You'll get it done right away. I know better. I realize three questions could mean a whole ton of work. Like, you could use up half the time and only be finishing up question number one. Yeah, one question is a hundred plus calculations. I hate school. Tell me, in, in your case, when are you ever going to use in your career... Like, when in your career are you going to have to do a hundred plus calculations... For one out of three questions in an hour 45 minutes. When in this career, when in this line of work, are they ever going to say, all right, here's three questions. One question has over 100 calculations. Do all these for me in an hour and 45 minutes. I've had to use damn near none of the math I learned in high school. I don't even remember the math I learned in high school. That's probably why a high schooler is probably smarter than me. They could solve the question that I don't even remember how to do. Man, if I was back in those math classes now, I'd fail. You know, back in high school, you did every class. You did one class per period, and that was your schedule for an entire semester. So five days a week, five school days, you would take that class five days a week. I don't even remember how that's like anymore. Because now in college, it's one, one of those classes per week. One lesson per week. So I don't, I can't even think, like, if I learned all that's, all the stuff I'm learning right now, I went to one of the, wow, one of those classes a day. I can't even think about that. Like, if the classes I'm currently taking in college, it's one of those classes a week. I can't even imagine taking those, one of those every day. Like, it's insane I managed to do that for 8 plus 4, 12. 12 years of my life from 1st grade to 12th grade. The same thing every day. Trying to think, what am I actually gonna do after I'm do after I'm done this? Am I actually just gonna, you know, release all those fions and just start or keep hunting, keep hatching? Because ideally, I'd like to get that done before BDSP comes out in six days, but I I don't count on that happening. Yes, I have the oval charm, but still. And this time, for the first time ever, well actually, this is like the second time, I'm actually counting how many eggs it's taking me to, to hatch a shiny. Now I did say I was going to release 620, 
But the truth is, I've hatched 621. I'm going to save one of them to transfer up to Pokemon Home for the Living decks. So that's why I'm only going to release 620. But in truth, I hatched 621. So right now, in counting, I have hatched 621 Fionnes. I'm going to release 620. I'm going to transfer one to Pokemon Home. I say this is the second time I've counted how many eggs. Because I did not count for Charmander. I don't know what the hell, how many I did there. How many the hell I did. And first time I unintentionally counted was when I hatched the shiny mini ore. It took me about a hundred eggs. I don't remember if it was like... I don't think it was exactly a hundred. I think it was more like a hundred and two. <clears throat> so either way, this time I want to keep count. Under 34, I'm going to stop at 350 for tonight. How much do you make off of one sub? Zero. If I, if I get a thousand subs, a thousand times zero is still zero. I'll be honest, I don't know. But right now, if I do have just one, yeah, I, may, I don't make anything. Don't you earn 50%? No. I don't know, man. There's something something like you have to accumulate $100 in revenue first and then you get it. Like, you, if you make $99, you don't get any of that until you make one more. Though that might be off of ads. I don't know, it's confusing. Fifty percent of five dollars today? Well... I don't expect to make that two and a half dollars anywhere.
Let's see here. Shiny? Maybe. Unlikely. Probably not. It is not. All right, 10 more for tonight. Imagine you get it on your last one. That'd be cool, but it won't it won't be likely. Now that now that I said it, it won't happen. You damn right. It will not happen because you jinxed it. Regular is better anyways. Sometimes the regular is better than the shiny. What's a good example? What's a green shiny everyone hates? Because everyone hates green shinies. First thing coming to mind is Espeon. I don't know, maybe Ursa Ring too? What's a disappointing shiny that doesn't really change besides Reggie Ice? Because that was butchered in 3D. It actually looks quite nice in 2D. Dragon Knight? Dragon Knight? Mm, maybe. Burmy? Okay, Burmy doesn't really change. I actually did get a shiny Burmy. I think I evolved it into a Wormadam. I think I evolved it into the Plant Wormadam. I was just leveling up, and a shiny Burmy showed up in my Pokemon X version. Or was it Y? I think it was X. Stream Mario Kart? I actually might. I don't know, maybe. I don't know how entertaining that would be to watch. I don't know, uh, maybe I'll look into streaming Mario Kart. Mario Kart's fun. I'm trying to think, what other shinies are, what other are normal, what other normal ones look better than the shiny? Uh, Persian hardly changes, the ears turn pink. Toga tomorrow just turns brighter. What's, an, what's something else that doesn't really change? Oh, you know what shiny that I absolutely despise? In the newer game, in this game, shiny Galarian Mr. Mime, the that disgusting, desaturated, grayed out sh shiny Mr. Mime. Oh yeah, Garchomp hardly changes. My goodness, they made the executive decision to desaturate a shiny Galarian Mr. Mime. They went from bright blue to completely gray. They extracted all color.
And it's sad that I have like two or three of them. Because it's still a shiny, I'll take it. I don't like it, but I'll still take it. Reggie Ice, like I said, Reggie Ice, the shiny just got butchered in 3D. The 2D one looks looks nice. It's the 3D version that looks hardly anything different. So I'm not going to count Reggie Ice, because in 2D it does look nice. Reggie Ice, Reg, Reg Ice, or Reg Ice. Once again, I base it off of the anime. The anime said both Reggie Ice and Reg Ice. So the way I interpret that, you can say it either way. Because both pronunciations are correct. So you can say either Reggie Ice or Reg Ice. I say Reggie Ice because all the other ones start with Reggie. Did I forget to did I forget to add one? All right, last one for tonight. Oh boy, I hear a mess outside. I hear my dog's bowl just spilled over. All right, all right, fellas, last one for tonight. I say Rayquaza. Nope, no shiny. Okay, that'll do it for tonight. No, I'm not going to do one more. I'm not going to end the counter at 351. I've done 150 encounters. That's enough. No, no 351. I'm going to I'm going to stop it here. Shiny lucky lucky numbered 351. No. All right. That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'll see you guys next time.